I was on the uh, west side of the parking garage, and uh, this is after the the part that had been in the news with the conflict in in the fighting in the alley. But it appears that that regiment of police officers in their battle gear that marched west on Water Street. And uh, it was quite a while, but all the Proud Boys had left. They were, they were leaving. I shouldn't say they all left, but they were leaving. Crowds were dispersing, and it was kind of, things were, were basically winding down. But at that point, the police, whoever made the call to then begin to move in, on the citizens that were there on the sidewalk and around as the Proud Boys were leaving and start start arresting citizens and start clearing, clearing out that area where there was absolutely no threat at all to, you know, the uh, any, any threat of violence or any threat of civil unrest. I was just, I was just bowled over by their reaction, it made no sense at all to, to me. And uh, I think uh, several, several others. Um, and I, I guess I wanna say that uh, just my personal experience and observation, there were police officers there from different departments around this area. And um, they were mostly respectful and, and I thought did a great job with the exception of the uh, Kalamazoo police in their riot gear. They seemed like they, I guess to be frank, it appeared they were there protecting the Proud Boys, letting them go, no license plates, not doing anything to question them, stop them, provide safety to the public you know, from their, from their violent actions. But then they were moving in on the citizens of the of the city so that uh that was my experience